You want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Well guys, it's another hot day today and I've come down to my lockup. Uh, last night I came down um, with Adam, who is the, my, basically my delivery guy or man in the van, whatever you want to call him. Um, and he dropped off some stuff for me. And also, um, he basically sold me a couple of chairs, which is really odd because in yesterday's sales update, I specifically said um, about me not doing furniture, um, and then last night he ends up selling me a couple of chairs, um, and now I do furniture a little bit, which is weird. So, uh, yeah, that is, that is quite odd, actually. So I'll show you those couple of chairs. I don't know whether I've made a mistake on them or not. However, um, he thinks that I might do all right on them, so maybe I will, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll show you them anyway. I'll show you some of, like, I'll give you, like, basically an overview of some of the items I got. And I'll just give you a quick look around the lockup because I've not done that in quite a while. And uh, also then what I'll do in separate videos is do a few sort of hauls of the single lots. So that then I can break it up into a bit more detail for you. Um, but yeah, I thought I'll just quickly show you the lockup now while I'm coming down to grab a couple of bits. There you go. So guys, basically, if I walk in here, the lighting might not be the best, so I do apologise. Um, there's four boxes there, one box there, three boxes there, one box there, one box there, one box there, two boxes there, one box there, two boxes there, and then that box there, because I remember putting that in there, and I think that's about, oh, and then that box there full of metalware. That is like the hole, and also there, I don't know really if you see under there, are the chairs. I will pull them out in a little bit, and we'll have a quick look at them. Um, but yeah, so this is basically from the slightly higher end auction house, so I'm still kind of buying big. That's my philosophy. Well, I mean, if you can call this big, I know it's not like, you know, I know it's not like mega, mega big. You know, a lot of other guys on YouTube will buy way bigger than this, but... To me, it's, you know, it's a fair haul, this is quite a decent size, so um, if I relate it to me personally, my situation, it's quite big, um, but obviously everything's relative to, to your sort of situation. Um, but yeah, so I'm still buying fairly big um, in my eyes, however, I'm not buying from the um, lesser quality auction house anymore. This all comes from a slightly higher end auction. That doesn't mean to say that it's all mega, mega quality. Um, you know, they do still do mixed lots. And the mixed lots, you know, it just the mixed lots are just better quality than the other auction house. So as you can see down there, you know, there's a little bit more quality of ceramics. In here, there's a little bit more quality. Uh, let me take you to another one. That one isn't necessarily really good quality or anything. But, you know, in there, there's some decent stuff. I think this is like... This looks pretty cool. It's got the lid in there as well, actually. Uh, Royal Worcester or something. So, you know, it's fairly decent quality in these mixed lots. Some sort of candlestick holder there. That's pretty cool. Brass one. Um, so, yeah. And then you've got some sort of copper ewer there. So, you know, it's fairly decent quality compared to the other auction house, which was, like, really just, like, household stuff. I don't know whether I've got another box in here from that auction house, actually. I think I've cleared it all out. The only box I've got is that one there. And as you can see, you know, it's not the best. There's not really anything of good quality in there. Um, but yeah, like, this is better quality stuff. This is more, there's like, you know, there's going to be antiques in here. You know, things that are over 100 years old. There's nice bits of metalware, all that sort of stuff. So it's a much better business idea for me to do this rather than, you know, doing the bulk amount of uh, quantity that's not much quality. I'd rather do, you know, good amount of quantity and good amount of quality. So, uh, yeah, but there shouldn't be too many items in here that are really sub a tenner. Um, and even if there are a couple of items sub a tenner, I can, like, bundle them up where necessary to get, you know, to get me over that £10. Don't know why, but I've got a random, like, light in here, you know, lamp. Um, so, yeah, I didn't even know I bought that. Oh, and we've got one of them things. <coughs> For the, like, uh, is it for a loom or something? I don't know, I've never had one of them, but they're pretty cool. I don't know what they go for, but I've seen seen other people have them. I think Celtic Traders might have had one of them. Um, but yeah, so we've just got, like, loads of random stuff. I am going to do... That's not, probably not. I'm 
I know it's definitely not Bezic, but I was thinking it might be like that Coover Craft or something, but it's not. No, it's just cheap one. Oh well. Um, but there is, there is a piece of Bezic somewhere in here. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Pause the video, and I'm going to like sort of get a couple of these boxes off here, so you can see what's deeper down in the other boxes. So, I found the Bezic course, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that, but you won't be able to, but it says Bezic um, on the normal place underneath. Well, it's not. Sometimes it's normally in that middle section, but sometimes I think it can be on the foot. Um, but yeah, I've never had Bezic from an auction house before, so I'm yeah, really pleased that I actually got one. It was only because it was in a larger job lot. If it was, if it had been on it on its own in a cabinet, you know, on a lot on its in its own, um, then I wouldn't have got it because it would have gone too high. It not, they normally do the Bezic stuff, but yeah, really happy I got one finally. So this was uh, just one of the boxes that these these were on top of it. Oh, this was really nice as well. I don't I need to look into that more? That looks really cool. Uh, it looks quite old that one as well. I don't I don't even know what it is. I'm, I'm assuming it's some sort of uh, you know cover up for your cheese or your butter or something. But that's pretty cool. And this is nice as well, though it's ah, it's broke anyway at the bottom actually, it's been restored or something, but still, that's quite nice. Um, but yeah, so, Royal Worcester stuff in there, ooh, that's nice, I like this. You, you can probably tell it's better quality stuff um, in these job lots compared to the other job lots. Um, this is nice, what does it say on there? Royal Staffordshire Ceramics, but... Bur Burslem. Loads of stuff comes from Burl. One sec, I'll just focus that in. Oh, I can't even focus it in one sec. There we go, Burslem. Loads and loads of ceramics come from that place. I, I mean, it's on blooming everything, Bur Burslem. I don't know why. Must have just been a hot place for people to do ceramics, you know. It must have been like, you know, all the go-to guys for ceramics must have been like, yeah, let's go down to Burslem for a good time. But anyway, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, loads of stuff anyway, I'll get those chairs out in a minute, oh, I've got some Royal Crown Derby stuff in here as well, well, I think that is, or, I don't know, anyway, I did get some Royal Crown Derby, there's, you know, it's like gilt on it, which is really nice, uh, there it is actually, some Royal Crown Derby, that's definitely Derby, um, this is like, what is this, Carlton Ware, uh, ceramic toast, like that, that is really nice, I like that. Um, and then it looks like we've got some other Carlton wear and stuff in there. Uh, again, it'll be Art Deco period, 20s, 30s. Um, so yeah, I really like Carlton wear, it's nice. Um, but yeah, plenty of stuff. Studio pottery kind of Art Deco-y sort of style thing down there again. I love Art Deco stuff, don't know much about it, but I absolutely love it. Um, and then some jelly moulds, i got like a lot of jelly moulds for whatever reason. Um, and yeah, anyway, so I'll show you them chairs and then we'll wrap up. Um, and obviously, as I said... Um, I'll do some individual like videos like for example I'll do a video on that box there and show you it in more detail and then I'll do a video on certain other boxes you know maybe ones that you, you've not been able to see down here I'll do a video on that and then then it gives you a bit more detail because um, obviously I've not given you loads of detail in this video it's just an overview oh it looks like we've got some Staffordshire stuff down there as well that man on a horse that's pretty cool um, but yeah and then we've got oh that's nice I'll just pick that up that's quite nice. Oh yeah, Crown Devon. Crown Devon. You see, it's all good quality stuff compared to the other stuff I've had in the past from the lesser quality auction house. You know, it's it's all names that you recognise. So, well, not all of it, but you know, a lot of it. Um, down there, I think that is mainly. Um, oh, what's it called? Royal Albert, I think it is, and Paragon. And I really do like Paragon. Might be some other bits in there as well, but I did get up, did buy a lot of Royal Albert and Paragon, and I really love Paragon. Um, anyway, so I'll get these chairs out and I'll show you them. So these are the chairs I got. I got them for ten pound a piece, which I really don't know whether I've done well or not. There's the other one over there. Um, but you can see, you know, the bit. I don't know whether this is hand carved or what, but it looks fairly nice to me. You know, the design. It looks fairly well done. Uh, you can see there's like a little floral design there. Um, it has got a little on this one. It's got like a little bit of a, um, I don't know what you call that, a little bit of wear or something. I don't know whether that could be sort of treated in any way. I don't know. Um, but then it's got this nice design on here on the upholstery. Um, and then if I turn it right over, well, right, there we go. Um, it's got like little wheels on. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. 
Let's see if I can focus it in any better. No, it won't let me. Um, but yeah, it's got these little like wheels on, so they're pretty cool. Um, it does look like it's got you know a little bit of wear and stuff, but it doesn't look too bad. You know, I'm not a furniture expert or anything, but it doesn't look too bad. I don't know whether these things up here, um, you know, I don't know whether they're like been put on it, you know, put on later, like it's been reupholstered or something. Um, but it's nice and springy up here. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I don't even know anything f with furniture, but £10 a piece. I thought I'd take a punt and just see. I've never had furniture before, so I wanted to get into it at some point. Um, so yeah, if I've done well, then yeah, I'm great. I've done well. I don't know the age on these. I really don't even want to guess. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that's those anyway. So I wanted to show you them. Um, that one I think is in slightly better condition. Uh, this one is the slightly worse condition one. Like that one hasn't got a little graze, you know, on the top there. Um, so yeah, quite happy with them. Even, you know, 10 quid each. I think I'm going to get something out of them anyway. I'll get a bit of profit out of them at least. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you very soon.